Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter. Well, that might be just a little bit of a stretch because I'm out here in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show and I came across something pretty cool today and I wanted to share it with you. So if there's one theme that I've noticed is a big deal here at CES this year, it's feedback, it's electronics giving you feedback. So when I was walking around the AI and the robotics area, I saw the very, very iconic Omron Forpheus ping pong table. So the Omron table is a ping pong table that plays ping pong against you using AI, analyzing how well you serve, your backhand, and it rates you with a certain score. And based on that, it will play just at or above your level to help you improve incrementally over time. Now the Omron table is a pretty popular exhibit here at CES every year, but this year it's been the sixth generation and they've added a couple of new features that I thought were very interesting. One is that using several cameras that are pointed at the player, it uses those cameras to detect whether or not you're smiling, your blink rate, and your heart rate to determine what your mood is. So if you're in a good mood, the game is going to pick up a little bit and you're going to get a little bit more resistance from your virtual ping pong player. But if you seem to be getting frustrated because you're not doing so well, it's going to back off just a little bit to help you learn. It's also going to calculate and show you on this screen where you tend to serve from, whether you're serving down the middle, if you tend to go left, if you tend to go right. And based on that, help you improve in other areas of ping pong to give you a better, well-rounded game. Now, one of the folks at Omron mentioned that a lot of these engineers that actually develop this technology play with this Omron ping pong device a lot. So they play ping pong a lot and they've gotten really, really, really good. And you can see how well they play because they've been training on this device, which is designed to help give user feedback so that you can improve. And it's basically a concept, so you wouldn't see these in somebody's home just yet. This is kind of a future tech that's coming up. But what they really want to show you is that you can get a lot of feedback from the machines all around us. And that feedback can be very useful for a human user. With robotic table tennis tutor, show and demonstrate the evolution of humans and technology in a future where it's not a, a one-way relationship between humans and technology. It's an integrated and symbiotic relationship where uh, the technology, may, be it robotic, be it uh, vision systems and facial recognition, exists around us with the human beings. So that, that this whole concept of the machine can actually provide feedback and help the human being be better at his process, be better in his environment, be better interacting and doing the things that they do every day. So for example, in this ping pong table, the ping pong is reading and is sort of incrementally helping you improve slowly and slowly at the best rate that's most efficient for you. Whereas a human player, although they can help you improve because practice makes perfect, the human player is not going to be able to calibrate their game quite as well to you because they're not able to calculate whether or not you're serving down the middle or you're going left or you're going right. And a human player also has other emotions like competitiveness or trying to get better, maybe to best you. There are all kinds of factors that go into that that don't go into it with AI. So you can see these cameras. There were these two cameras pointing at you and one at the top. But other than that, this is really like playing a normal game of ping pong with a couple of caveats. So you notice that the screen in the middle is not really a net, it's a screen and it's about, it was about four centimeters thick. So it's thicker than a regular ping pong net and it was a little bit more difficult to get used to so that took some adjustment. But it did give you these cool stats, your blink rate, which would show you basically how focused you are and your mood, whether or not you were getting angry or happy and the game would adjust based on that. I actually got to play against the Forpheus and it was a lot of fun. A couple of things that were a little bit different for me was without having an actual human body there, it was, it was threw me off just a little bit to play ping pong with just a paddle and not see somebody across from me. I got a little bit nervous too in the beginning, but once I got into a slight roll, I noticed that the game would kind of pick up and I could almost kind of predict where the Omron would want to redirect me. I could kind of see that if we were getting a good volley in the middle, I had the idea or I was kind of thinking that it's probably going to try to kind of push me out of my comfort zone, which it did. Another cool thing that happened was I bested the machine a couple of times and I know, I know it's designed to do that. I know it's designed to let you win and then it's going to start improving as things go on. It's not a competitive machine. The machine isn't designed to beat you. It's not a competitive machine. It's designed to help you improve at ping pong. You can see this being applied to other sports as well to help athletes get incrementally better, like improving a basketball shot for efficiency 
or for boxers or for MMA, maybe kicking technique, all sorts of things that can help you get better and improve with the AI that's going to be noticing every little detail to help you get better at the right and the fastest pace that you can get better at. So I hope you enjoyed that look at the Omron Forpheus. It was a lot of fun to play against today. I've got a couple more videos coming up over the next couple days from CES, so make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button down below so you don't miss those. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.